So here at Brooklyn Supreme Court, Levi Aaron was able to plea bargain to lesser charges in the murder of Little Libby Kletsky. He was able to do so because that's what the family of the victim wanted. When accused and now convicted killer Levi Aaron shuffled into the Brooklyn courtroom today, he was handcuffed from behind. He remained that way while he accepted a plea bargain of second-degree murder and second-degree kidnapping. He had been charged with the first-degree murder and kidnapping of eight-year-old Libby Kletsky July of last year in Borough Park. The little boy had gone home from a yeshiva day camp on his own for the first time. Aaron admitted he suffocated him with a Amber, towel and Amber. then cut up the little boy's body. Levi Aaron never spoke above a whisper as Judge Neil Firetalk questioned rights. him to obtain an admission of guilt. You put it, parts of the body into a suitcase. And then what did you do with that suitcase? He whispered, dumpster. Some of Libby Kletsky's body parts were found in a luggage dropped in a dumpster. Judge Firetalk said Aaron would receive 40 years in prison, 25 for murder, 15 for kidnapping, served consecutively, one after the other. District Attorney Charles Hines said the victim's father did not want a trial as long as Aaron got significant jail time. He convinced me that the family had suffered enough and that it would be an excruciating experience for them if a trial had gone forward. Prosecutors say the defense team requested a plea bargain after psychologist test determined an insanity plea would not work. It's not something that interfered with his ability to understand the nature and consequences of his actions, which is why he pled guilty to a crime today. Through Assemblyman Dove Hyken, the family issued a statement saying their pain would never go away, but there was now some closure. Closure does not mean we don't continue to feel the pain. A day does not pass without our thinking of Libby. Levi Aaron will be officially sentenced August 29th. To be clear, he has to serve a minimum of 40 years before he's eligible for parole. He'll be 76 years old then. And at that time, the parole board could deny his release from prison.